Hey, y'all. What's going on? I hope everybody's doing really well. Thank you for joining me. Welcome back if you've been here. And welcome, welcome, welcome if you're new to my channel. I'm super happy to have you. And I would love for you to join uh, my channel. Feel free to subscribe, like the video. And I love comments. Leave me a comment. That would make me so freaking happy. Anyway, we are well into these nails. I'm working on my thumb as we speak, of course, using Nail House's malt because it has quickly taken over my heart. And I'm almost out of my little one ounce jar and I've been stalking their website for a restock because I need a four ounce of this. Um, also going to be trying some new ones by Nail House. I literally have in my cart right now um, Gemini. Um, what's the other nude that I had in my cart? Oh, French Rose. That one I think looks so pretty. And then I also have, um, some other, um, powders in there. A couple glitters, some essentials. Um, yeah, I found out that <laughs> I can use Clarna for Nail House. So we in trouble, y'all. We are in trouble. Anyways, um, I actually did both of my hands this day. As you can see, I have tips on my right hand as well. And I did do a set on my right hand with my left, which is my non-dominant hand. Um, I used to do them all the time, and I got very comfortable doing them. However, I've been doing the pop-off method for a little while now, so I haven't done my right hand. And um, I'm not so used to it anymore. It was very slow. It's not in this video. I'm actually going to make it into a separate video because the past couple videos I've put out have been an hour and just over an hour. And I know don't nobody want to sit through that. So I had to do a little something something to try and make things shorter to try to, you know, keep my audience around to watch the video. So my doing my right hand with my non-dominant, my left will be another video coming up. Um, the video is already done. I just need to edit and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, also, I have a video of my Blossom box that just came on Saturday, which is a monthly subscription box from Tickle Pink Cosmetics. And I'm just going to wait a day or two before doing my voiceover on that video because... Um, I don't think my box had everything in it that it was supposed to have. Meaning, normally, well, the past few months that I got the box, there was at least four acrylic powders in it and some other, you know, miscellaneous things. And definitely worth, you know, the 30, well, it's $40 and then with shipping, it's 50. So definitely worth spending the 50. However, this month, I only got two one ounce powders in it and one gel polish and then a couple cheap little miscellaneous things. And it was centered around Valentine's Day, which that's great and everything. Um, some of the stuff I can still use year round, you know, but Valentine's Day is come and gone. So I was really bummed when I opened the box and you can tell in the video because I'm kind of just looking at the stuff and like you can just tell with my body language but before you know I make a video like talking about being upset and like you know where's the product I sent them an email um asking if maybe my box was accidentally skipped over with some of the items that were supposed to be in it which I'm hoping is the case However, I have not received a response yet, so I'm going to give them, you know, a few business days to get back to me and go from there. Um, this set, you probably saw by my little thumbnail, I'm doing a 90s theme, like that little patchwork type design. <laughs> I can't talk. Um, but with pastels. And... Uh, I don't think those are definitely, wait, definitely? 
I don't think those, <laughs> Ooh, I'm a mess, y'all. I don't think those are the best color choice for this design. However, it came out, you know, kind of cute. Um, but yeah, I'm going to let y'all watch this application and I'll pop back in in a little bit. I'm back. I'm back. Um, so yeah. Did y'all do anything this weekend? It's Monday evening, Monday night right now while I'm doing this voiceover. Um, I actually did this set like late last week. I think it was Thursday. And I actually did, um, I didn't do the pop-off method. I did both my hands because I kind of miss wearing nails. Like I really do love wearing nails but y'all i am struggling because i haven't worn nails for the past few months it's just been you know make a video pop them off make a video pop them off but <laughs> i used to be so used to having my nails long like it felt weird when i didn't have the nails on and then i got used to it again and i'm really freaking struggling like trying to do everything um, working is the hardest because I'm using my hands so much and it hurts when, when you bang one or, you know, catch it on something. So I don't know how long I'm going to keep these, uh, nails on, but we'll see. My weekend was uneventful. Um, I always work on the weekends or usually if I choose to, which I usually choose to, although... Was it Saturday morning? Yeah, Saturday. Was on my way out, ready to go make some money, in a great mood. And <laughs> this, I ended up getting pulled over. But it was so weird because, like, there wasn't a ton of traffic, but there was traffic. And I was on the highway, a two-lane highway. And I look in my rear view. Because I was actually getting ready to go around somebody and pass them. And I see lights. But he was in the left lane and coming fast. So everybody's moving out the way. And he just zooms by. Thank God I wasn't speeding or anything. So I'm like, dang, he was in a hurry to get somewhere, right? Like five, ten minutes down the road. I see him parked in the median in the middle. And then I look in my rear view a few seconds later and he's doing the same thing again, speeding with his lights on. I'm like, what is this dude doing? So he like stays side by side with me and gets behind me. I'm like, what, what did I do? Like, I know I wasn't going that fast. I was keeping up with traffic. Tell me why when he comes up to my car. It's the same officer that pulled me over last summer. And for the same reason. Talking about, uh, do you, do you know why I pulled you over today? Uh, yeah, your, your tint's a little dark there. <sighs> Are you serious? I said, you know, this is the second time you pulled me over for the same reason, right? So, yeah, long story short. And he kept me there for damn near an hour like, my time is my money, man. I was so frustrated and drove off with a ticket. So, yeah, I was I was a little bothered by the fact that it was the second time. Like, do you really have nothing better to do? And, like, why did you drive all goofy? Like, he literally put everybody else in jeopardy, acting a fool. Like, he had to have been going, like, 
8590 went while he was passing everybody with his lights on like he was going somewhere freaking important. And I, I don't like anybody in a authoritative position who lets that shit go to their head. Like, don't, you know, think you have power and use it in, in the wrong way for the wrong reasons. Like, that's just goofy. But yeah, um... We're almost done with the application on this set. And then I speed through the encapsulation. And I'm pretty sure I leave the design in real time. I might have sped it up a little bit, but nothing major. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time right now because I have to go pick up my son from work soon. But I just want to hop in here and... Thank you all for coming to check out the video. And if you're still here at this point, thank you so much. I truly appreciate each and every one of you that are supporting me and, you know, showing up for me and checking out my videos. It means so much to me. Um, like, it really means a lot. So I just wanted to say that. My application was a little messy on this hand. Like, when I first started out at my thumb, my room was a little too cold or a little too warm. And I was having trouble on my thumb. Like, it was just drying so fast. So then I opened the door in my room to let some air in. And, of course, it's cold here in Wisconsin. So then it got too cold. And I was just trying to find that happy medium that that good temperature but yeah we did okay um my hands are so dry y'all oh my goodness please don't mind them and then after i didn't include any filing in this video i had to cut the time down somewhere so um yeah i'm just gonna try to mix things up and switch things up and try to find a happy medium so that you know the videos aren't super duper long I'll include a little bit of filing next time or something. Just keep switching it up until I figure out what's going to work. Um, yeah, I'm trying to see if I have anything else I want to tell you guys. <gasps> Whew, excuse me. Not the yawning again. Not the yawning. I'm really excited for Bomb Nails Pastel Collection to drop. I just watched um, a video that she put out a couple hours ago. And she, I think she said it's going to drop on Friday. So I'm going to try and pick that up. And I'll definitely do an unboxing when I do. I'm hoping that I'm able to get my hands on it. Because I know her Valentine Collection sold out super fast. Um, so I'm going to like... I don't know. I'm going to set an alarm or a reminder on my phone and stalk her website. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm going to hop off of here and I might pop back in if I'm able to again. But if not, I hope you all have a great week. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, stay warm if it's cold wherever you're at. And I will be uh, getting to that other video of my doing using my non-dominant hand. I will um, edit that and get it up as soon as I possibly can. And as soon as I hear back from Tickled Pink, I will do my voiceover for the little unboxing that I did. And fill you guys in with how that went. So yeah, you guys take care. Stay safe. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you in the next one.
Okay, so we're finished with the little design, and I was showing you guys um, my matte top coat because I was thinking about doing matte. So I just did it on my um, index finger just to check and like see how it would look. I wasn't feeling it. I don't think I really even showed it here. And then since I was also doing my other hand, I was going back and forth a lot, and it turns out I didn't end up... Um, showing me putting the top coat on the rest of my hand but I did take some pictures of my final result and I um included them at the end of the video um I thought about adding some bling I just I wasn't really feeling it I think the design was enough on its own it turned out super cute so let me know what you guys think and yeah i just want to pop back in real quick um i'm about to head out the door to go pick up my boy from work but um yeah i also forgot to take pictures right after i ended up taking them the next day in my car so yeah i i don't know what it is like i need to get in the habit of doing my little photo shoot as soon as i'm done doing my nails because like yeah my brain just i don't know I forget. I'm very forgetful. Anyway, there it is. I thought it looked so pretty with the sun shining on it. But yeah, that's that's it. And the video is coming to an end. So thank you so much for being here. And I will see you all soon.